Hello everyone, welcome to Edupedia World Videos. We are learning PowerPoint and my name is Neeru Varma. Topic for this session is Word Art and Shapes. And starting with the course goal, we have already discussed about, we have already discussed till this point, resize the shape on the text box. In this session, we will discuss about formatting the shape and the text boxes. So the first option we have is change to a different shape. Suppose you have inserted this particular shape to your slide and you want to edit the shape, you want to change the shape. Select this, click on the format tab and you have an option here, edit shape. Click on the drop down and click and you can select any shape from here you can see that the shapes are getting changed the location or you can say the area that will remain the same which is inside these handles but the shape inside these handles are getting changed this is how you can change your shape and the second option we have is change the shape style In the format tab, you have a group shape styles. You can select the image first of all and then you can move around with the shapes. And you can see that how it give you, how these styles are applied to the particular shape that you have selected. So these are the different effects or you can say these are the different styles that can be added to your shape. You can move your mouse cursor and you can see that what is the best style that shape uh, that suits the shape. The next option we have is change the shape fill color. You need to click on the format tab again and you have an option here shape fill. Click on the drop down and you will get a list of colors. You need to select the shape first of all. We have selected this area, the text area. That's why it's applying the shape fill effect here. Select the image and then shape fill. Select the desired color from the list or you can select the same option. The texture you can select gradient, the different kind of styles you can add here on the picture. If you talk about texture, you can add some this kind of texture to the image that you have selected. So this is how you can fill different colors or different style to your shape. Now the next option we have is change the shape outline. You need to click on the format tab, select your image, then you have the option here shape outline. Select this and it show you the different colors that how do you want to outline your uh, particular shape in which color you want to outline the shape and it also give you some more options like the weights if you want to increase the thickness of the line it give you one more option that is dashes that how do you want the line would appear So in this way, you can make multiple changes to the images. You can apply the outline to the shape.
Now next we'll discuss about the shadow effect. Select the shape. Now in the format tab, you have the option shape effect. Click on the drop down and you'll get a lot of options here. If you want to add the shadow effect, click on the shadow. And you can select multiple options. It shows the shadow of the object. So this is how the shadow effect is applied to the object. Suppose we select this particular image and we want to apply the shadow effect. Yeah, now you can see the shadow effect is applied on it. If we select this as no shadow, this is the object. Okay, so this is how the shadow effect can be added to the objects. Now moving further, we'll discuss about the 3D effects. There are two type of effects you can apply to the shape and the text boxes to give them a 3D appearance. And those are 3D rotation and bevel. 3D rotation give the appearance that you are viewing the object from a different angle and it can be applied to any shape. However, bevel that adds thickness and a rounded edge to the shape, but it doesn't work with every type of shape. I'll show you how do we add the 3D rotation to the shape or to the text boxes. Select the text. Then click on the shape effects. Then click on the text effects. Select the option 3D rotation. And in this way, you can move around with the mouse and you can see that how the text is getting changed. You can move around with your mouse and you can see that how the text is getting changed. Similarly, if you talk about a shape, let's select this shape, shape effect, 3D rotation. This is how the shape is done. Like this shape, click on the shape effect, 3D rotation and this is how the shape is changed. So in this way, you can apply the 3D effect to your objects. You do have the option available here. Click on the 3D rotation, then 3D rotation options. You can select the desired rotation preset from the drop down menu or you can select the desired values from here as well. If you want to change them to the custom values, you can apply the values here. Okay, so we have seen that how we can apply the 3D effect to the images and to the text. Now next we'll discuss about use bevel. You can select the text, then under the format tab, text effect bevel. I'll show you. Now next we'll discuss about, now next we'll discuss about use bevel. Select the shape. Click on the format tab on the picture. Okay. 
now I'll show you how do we use the use bevel effect select the image click on the format tab here now you can see that two format tabs are here one is the picture tool and other is the drawing tool you have to go with the drawing tool option I'll show you what are the difference if you click on the picture tool you will get the picture options here then how to compress a picture reset a picture how to color but we are more interested right now in the formatting the image so under the drawing tool we'll get the options to edit the image we have selected the image right now now under the shape effect you use that bevel option now you can move around with your mouse and you can see that how it adds the values now you have an option available here in the bottom 3d option you can also click on the 3d option if you would prefer to type in the custom values if you click 3d option you will also be able to change the shape material to give it a metal or plastic or a translucent appearance here it is the material surface material which kind of look you want to give it to So in this way we can add different values to our image. There is one more option here lightning. You can choose the type of lightning also to change that how the shape is illuminated. The special, cool, warm, neutral. So this is how it add the effect to your images. So that was it for today's session. We have discussed about formatting the shape, text boxes, how to change the different the different shape how to uh, how to fill the colors how to outline the shape in a different way then how do we add the shadow effect and we have discussed about the 3d effects the rotation and the bevel option so that was it for today's session thank you everyone for watching Ajupedia world videos